Okay, now next thing we'll discuss, we'll, we'll actually see the contents of uh, CCNS Risk Portal. So these are the two links which refers to the Cisco official contents. And also I have my own order of uh, contents actually on the Udemy. So let's get into this. Now if you get into Cisco uh, contents, probably it's, you can see it in two parts, SPNG1 and SPNG2. And here you can see the complete list of topics covered in the CCNP uh, CCNA as a responder SPNG1. So in this, uh, most of the topics actually overlaps with uh, CCNA service border, uh, sorry, CCNA routing switching, and also some topics covering on CCNP routing switching. So if you are a little bit comfortable with this little bit two tracks, probably you you know most of the percent, you know most of the sixty to seventy percent of the contents actually overlaps here. Now initially you can see this part is understanding the basic networking, like understanding the OSI models, TCP IP models, and understanding the basic networking devices, what exactly the routers are used, switches are used, understanding the LAN and WAN operations. So mostly the basic networking. And this model uh, covers about the IPv4 addressing along with the subnetting and also IPv6 addressing also. Now mostly these videos overlaps here and you can see here switching technologies this majorly deals with understanding how the switches operates, the, how the STP works and also some port security features as well as bundling of the Ethernet, Ethernet links like uh, Ether channel concepts along with some Cisco flex links options which is like a enhancement to the spanning tree. Well that is one, one topic you may see additional. Now, uh, in terms of routing technologies, you will see uh, mostly the routing basics of routing here, starting with what is routing and the different routing protocols like RAP, EHRP, OSPF, understanding the redistributions. But the one major difference you will see here is you are not only going to implement on IBS routers, you'll also see how to configure the routing on the IBS XR routers, XR, XR IBS, probably 9000 series routers, which are used in the ASR9000 series, which are typically used in service border infrastructure. Apart from that, you will learn some other services like common services, what you have learned like NAT, DSCP, uh, understanding the DNS. And then also you will get into IBIS XR command line operations, the basics. And apart from that, you'll also uh, see some of the transport technologies like understanding. You can see most of them describe means we need to understand uh, what exactly the T1 overview of ATM, Metro Ethernet, you will see the different options. And also some, some security topics also covered here like the basic IPsec you need to understand some layer two security features, uh, AAA concepts like authentication, authorization and accounting. So probably these are some of the security options we'll be covering in this. Apart from that, you will also uh, understand what is NTP, SLA, CDP, SNMP overview, probably some of those other options as well. Now the in, uh, SPNG2 also you will mostly see the same thing here, slightly advanced to what we covered in the SP1. You will still see routing here with OSPF and other basic BGP also, not only on IBIS, also on IBIS XR devices. Some advanced switching concepts like RSTP, MSTP, PVST. Also, you will get into some QNQ options like uh, what is QNQ tunneling used by service providers for providing the layer to WAN connections, VLANs, trunking, and those other options. And then here you'll see some understanding the IP addressing uh, hierarchy and the autonomous system allocation and those options. Now the same contents actually I have divided into four parts. So here the hierarchy is different like the basic introduction and understanding the different types of service borders and overview on that. Uh, basic networking and then TCP IP F submitting and th these are actually the sections. In the sections you will see uh, more and more videos. So probably in each and every part I think somewhere around 80 plus videos. So you will in each part probably you know approximately I have 250 to, 250 to 300 short videos which uh, where, where the length of the each video will not be more than uh, 10 to 12 minutes somewhere around that and according to me actually I divided this uh, the part one into basic networking concepts 
the basic LAN fundamentals, most of the switching covers up to this section one. You can see uh, troubleshooting switching, advanced STP options as well, uh, VLAN, VTP, these options, inter VLAN routing. Whereas in the part two, I have majorly covered the routing options here. Now the routing options, including IPv4 and IPv6 as well, whereas BGP and ISS is also covered here. Now ISS is another routing protocol which is most commonly used inside the service borders apart from OSPF. So these are the two major uh, core IGP protocols used inside the service border infrastructure. Apart from that, we'll also get into the basics of BGP and understanding the basic uh, configuration of BGP as well. Now in the part three, I've covered most of the services and security topics like understanding the NTP, SLA and the Tibble concepts and securing the management plane and also you know access list switch security span or span features covered in this section now in the part four i covered all the xr topics like the topics leading to ios xr uh, the basics of ios xr and the configuration on ios xr routing and some other transport technologies typically i have explained in the part four and then also the redundancy protocols like hsrp vrrp glbp including understanding the different types of WAN technologies we use uh, and also the VPN concepts here. So this part four majorly I have covered these topics in this.